Yo, what's going on, everybody? I hope you're doing well. Just a few of my thoughts on uh, what's transpired with the coronavirus ordeal that everybody's dealing with. I got an 80-year-old mother that still lives on her own whose immune system is compromised because she has multiple myeloma and she's been on several rounds of steroids and drugs to help that situation, which lowers her immune system. So the number one most important person in my life after God, my mother, is uh, very challenged. So I've had to take a look at this stuff a little bit more closely, and I'm going to give you a few tips and ideas that I'm utilizing for myself to help me in this situation that's very delicate. We do need to take a close look that this is a serious thing, whether someone prompted it or started it or the information is getting blown out of proportion. There's some things going on that says this could be a very serious situation for the world. So it should be a wake-up call for you and I. The few things that I'm doing right now, and I'll expound upon them a little bit later in this video and put some content below as to how I came upon this uh, as the best choice for me to help myself through this, my mental, emotional capacity, but especially my immune system. My club is still up and running. It's a private facility. I don't have a lot of members in here, 20, 25 members throughout the day. It's, it's clean. I'm still up and running in my facility here the transformation station out there. So here's what I'm doing. I am, hopefully this is a wake up call that you can take more precautions in your normal everyday life to make your immune system more powerful and focus on yourself, whether it's exercise, traditional exercise that I've taught for 20 plus years, or now this anti-aging stuff that the seven health hacks that you should be, could be doing at home and yes, sweating is one of them, uh, and cold exposed, the opposite of that is in there. And fasting, not eating any food at all for two or three days to bolster your body's immune system tremendously. And walking outside with your shoes off, grounding or earthing. And a breathing technique that's very simple to do that is proven uh, through science to bo bolster your alkal alkalization uh, of your blood versus acidic. To build more red blood cells in your body to build more blood vessels in your body, to uh, transport more uh, oxygen, which is super important for your lungs and your health, is down below. Uh, and if you want to know any more information about that, just uh, ask questions on the blog. So I've, I've upped my game. Uh, after this sauna, a really good sweat, I drank a gallon of water before with uh, salt in it, with potassium in it, with a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it. Um, and then I'm going to do a cold tub immersion for three to four minutes in about 55 degree water. So I'm doing, I'm, I'm up in my game and this stuff really works. Sun gazing, looking directly at the sun in the first 20 minutes of the sunrise, right after it crests over the horizon. And same thing in the evening. This stuff works faster than you know. And I've been marketing them as uh, five health hacks that you should be, could be doing at home or your office in 10 to 15 minutes a day. It works. It really does. So um, I'm also posting an article below. Where did I get my information from? I'm not getting it from Facebook friends who are just regurgitating stuff that we don't even know what's true. How do we know what's true with the coronavirus and how big of a challenge it really is on, in some parts of the world and could be? Is it made up? Is it a political thing? Did someone create it? Is there a risk there? I think there's enough to slow down and say yes. We have to take a closer look. My source of information that I'm giving you below is a naturopath, functional medicine doctor that I've known for three years that we've held Reset, Reboot, Retreat workshops with, Dr. Ron Vaught, and I trust him. And he is doing some legwork and deciphering through the articles and giving me what he believes is the switch situation right now. And that article says we should up our intake of melatonin, exogenous or from the outside in. So your natural melatonin production is increased when you do the health hacks that I listed below. But the lungs are getting challenged. And more than likely, myself and a lot of people have had the coronavirus and they're fighting it off and uh, don't have much symptoms, but they're passing off to maybe other people that may be older and more susceptible to having lower immune systems. And that's why this could be very potentially very dangerous. So up your vitamin C, up your vitamin D3. That's always a great idea. Exogenous forms from the outside and putting in your mouth and melatonin. Those are the three things. If you read the article below that will inspire you to maybe up your dose. 
So let's do this. Let's up your dose of those three things that can help your immune system and do some of these health habits that I talk about that could boost your immune system from the exogenous pills that you're taking. But more than likely, what's really going to help is keeping your stress levels at bay, realizing that God's will be done, and do some of these health hacks. Now that you got more time and maybe you're slightly quarantined or fully quarantined for a couple weeks, turn the news off. Don't watch the news. Don't, don't shuffle through your social media feed endlessly regurg reading regurgitated stuff that's probably not even close to being true. Find a source that you respect. If you're watching this video this long, you probably respect me. Limit your information in your head and in your eyes and in your ears about what you need to do and what the coronavirus is. And just have a simple game plan. For me, it's these seven health facts that I have listed below that I've always preached for the last year. I'm just doing them to the 100th percentile now. And I feel the difference. I feel calm. I'm sleeping great. I'm not taking sleep aids. I'm waking up before the sun comes up. And I have good energy and it's easy to wake up. And I'm able to be more resilient and take on the stress of what's going on right now. And you can feel the difference too, is my suggestion. So when you recap, limit your information from a couple of sources you respect. Read it. Get more informed about the potential seriousness of the coronavirus. Do make the decision on, are you going to go uh, to work? Are you going to quarantine yourself somewhat? Which is probably a relatively smart idea to limit your exposure to other people. At least for a couple of weeks. And consider taking in the vitamin D3, the vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid, and the melatonin. that will help the lungs be more ready for the challenge of the coronavirus or anything that's challenging the lungs right now. And do these health hacks. That is really my takeaway today. I hope that all makes sense. And I love you. And I know that your body is more resilient to be more powerful. The most intelligent pharmacy and most powerful pharmacy in the world is your human DNA that has survived thousands of years of human evolution. But it's really challenged right now. So do these little health hacks to give yourself a better night's sleep. That's where the magic of recovery happens with your hormones, your circadian sleep cycle, and your endocrine system. And keep your head somewhat clear. Keep moving, even if it's at home, and do some at-home exercises. If you need some at-home exercises, let me know. And do these breathing techniques. Do these health hacks. And protect your elderly friends and family. I love you. You do have the power to change to make the rest of your life the best of your life. The link's below about the article about uh, from my functional medicine uh, doctor friend, Dr. Ron Vaught, who has a thriving practice, and he's super healthy right now. And he's really transformed his body and his lifestyle and life and practice with these, these ideas. He's 60 years young. I respect him and trust him. Check, take a close look at my health hacks and do what you can do at home. Yes, you can do cold exposure at home, whether it's outside. Sunlight, sunlight, sunlight is an amazing health hack. Look directly at the sun for two to three minutes at sunrise and again at sunset. Get outside, do some breathing outside, take your shoes off. Old stuff, Mother Nature stuff can bolster your immune system naturally. Go ahead and take some exogenous from the outside in melatonin, vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid, and vitamin D3. I love you. You do have the power to change to make the rest of your life the best of your life. Woot, woot. I'll check in with you next Sunday. Adios.